Some news about our moon to Mars architecture, chalk up another one for our frequent flyer on Mars, and yes, this spacecraft scanned fine things in the sky. A few of the stories to tell you about this week at NASA. NASA released results of the agency's first architecture concept review and analysis process to align our Moon to Mars exploration strategy and codify the supporting architecture. The architecture defines the rockets, spacecraft, spacesuits, operations, and other elements needed to support human missions to the Moon and Mars. Learn more at nasa.gov slash moon to Mars architecture. April 19th marked the two-year anniversary of our Ingenuity helicopter's first flight on Mars. To date, it has completed 50 flights on the Red Planet and reached a new altitude record of 59 feet. Ingenuity, a technology demonstration designed to prove powered, controlled flight on another planet was possible, was expected to make no more than five flights. On April 18th, our Transiting Exoplanet Survey Satellite, or TESS, celebrated five years in space. In that time, TESS has mapped more than 93% of the entire sky, discovered 329 new planets, and provided new insights into an array of cosmic phenomena, from stellar pulsations and exploding stars, to supermassive black holes. On April 20th and 21st, we hosted free Earth Day events at Union Station in Washington, D.C., with hands-on activities to illustrate the many ways NASA does Earth science. We also hosted a virtual Earth Day celebration with interactive online content and resources, including some available in Spanish. For more about NASA's Earth Day activities, visit nasa.gov slash earth-day-2023. That's what's up this week at NASA. For more on these and other stories, follow us on the web at nasa.gov slash twan.